Hey, hey, legacy leaders. Sometimes, like, I don't even know the one song, but my mom used to sing when I was little. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> it is Tip Tuesday. It is. My hair is frizzy. Frizzy, frizzy. It's rainy and humid and yucky here in Texas. Here in Texas. Um, but I was talking with Whitney this morning and I was like, what should we talk about with the leaders? Because right where y'all at? Oh, where is everybody? I don't know. Okay. So we were just chatting away and talking about it. And she was like, you know what? I think everybody needs to just really be focused on is the new. Okay. So we're going to be talking about that new, new today. All right. And it's spring. So it's like the perfect time for just newness. Okay, and growth and fresh starts and freshness. It's just good. I love it. Like, I like spring. I like spring. Okay, so it's time for fresh starts. Okay, time for finding new teenies. Time to change some things up. So I'm just going to give you guys what I've been doing in my business for new people. Okay, um, and I've changed it and tweaked it a little. And I want you to be encouraged that you have time to change and tweak things. What you do for your consultants now might not be what you do for them in two or three years. It's okay to change it or even next catalog season. It's okay to change it and be like, this did not work. This was not a good idea. Okay, versus, oh yeah, that really worked. That's really good. And if you're super brave, go ask your people. Mm -hmm. Okay, what did you think about this when I onboarded you? Because you should have some type of onboarding system, okay? And that just means how do you help your new consultants be successful? That's all that means, okay? So, here we go. So one of the biggest things I've been doing is looking for past consultants, okay? I want people to know that they can come back for free because they can, okay? Past consultants can come back to Sensi for free. They don't even have to buy the join kit or the reinstatement kit if they don't want to. I actually was going through it with one of my reinstates yesterday, and I'm like, okay, this is how much it would be if you got the reinstatement kit. This is what I think you need from the consultant store. Take your pick. What do you want to do? What's your budget looking like, okay? Because let's be real, Times are hard. The economy is hard. Life can change in an instant. You don't know that consultant who fell off three years ago or last year or six months ago. You don't know what's happening now in their life to where they need this extra income. Okay. Um, so keep that in mind. Also, a good reason to treat your teenies well. You know what I'm saying? Because like say that someone is having a hard time in life and you treat them like crap. They drop their business and then they're ready to come back. Are they picking you? Mm, interesting, because they can choose to pick a different sponsor when they come back. So your past consultants, reach out to them. See where they're at. See if they have any interest in coming back, okay? Um, other past consultants, if they're consultants who were on your Facebook page because you collaborated on something or you met each other at an event, they fell off. I mean, if you post about it and they're like, I really would like to work with you, that's cool. That's okay, all right? So, it's up to them. They can pick their sponsor, all right? All right. So, and sometimes they pick someone else, then they realize they shouldn't have done that, and they want to come back to you anyways the next time. So, there's that, okay? So, treat your people well always. You should always be doing that anyways, okay? So sharing about the fact that past consultants can come back for free, huge. I got three, four reinstatements last month, okay, um, which was awesome, super excited, and they're all doing really, really well right now, so that's even more exciting, right? Um, then sharing about our join opportunities, okay, talking to best customers, clubbers, tell them, add it all up how much they could have made this past year, add it all up, and um, take the 25% of it. How much could they have made since they've been a Sensi Clubber of yours? Okay. They, if they want a business, if they're looking for extra income, here you go. They already like Sensi. Um, hosts, every host, every single host. I asked one of my hosts today, Hey girl, you're really kind of on it. You ever thought about just joining Sensi? It doesn't have to be fancy. And she was like, no, I'm good. I was like, okay, 
I'm just throwing it out there. And she's like, I know you have to. Okay. Anyone and everyone, because we don't know what people's finances look like. We don't know who needs the community. We don't know. All right. So putting it out there for anyone and everyone. We always, always, always have a host kit available with a qualifying party. So this is a great reason to have a catch-all party, okay? Um, I do this for myself every single month. I have a catch-all party. As soon as that party hits $200, I can offer a $59 host kit, which is awesome. If your host does not want that kit on their qualified party, okay, then offer it to the whole party. That just gave you so many more people an opportunity to reach out to you about possibly joining and having extra income, okay? If they don't want it in that party group after a few days, then go ahead and post it to your VIP page. Post it in your stories that you have a discounted consultant kit up for grabs, all right? Um, share, share, share. Share, share. Share, share. Go to your list of who you've talked to in the past because you should be tracking who you talk to about joining Sensi, okay? Um, and see if they want that host exclusive join kit. All right. Okay. Next, once I have this teeny or this reinstate, okay, I'm definitely gonna shout them out in my stories. I'm gonna be so excited. I'm gonna shout them out on the team page, okay? Um, shout them out on their Facebook page, tag them so people know they're a Sensi consultant. This is exciting, okay? Um, and then I share with them a board that I have made and I will share it with you guys too. I have a reinstate one and a new consultant one. If you're on Wildflower Warriors, this is pinned to the top of our page so that you can utilize it. You can share. I've done the work for you because I love you. I want you to be successful in this. Okay. So I, I'll share those when I'm done in the comments. Okay. Um, but it takes them step by step of what to do within their business. So like, um, for my new consultant one, it starts off with a video, welcome to Wildflower Warriors, and it's just me talking to them um, and letting them know that like we're excited they're here, it's going to be so good, we're going to start them with a launch party, okay? And then I have a, a little folder in the boards that says like be in the know and it's got important team information um, for them and I have each one of the directors listed with their team contact hours, super exciting. The meetings for the year, I actually think I have not. It's April. I should probably update that. I don't think I've updated that. But I'm going to update that later. Probably not today. Later. Um, and then I have the classes in session uh, YouTube playlist so that they can learn all the things, basics about their business. And I have new consultant information. And then... Number two, the number two one is important. Launch your business on Facebook. Okay, so I send them the whole entire board. Some people like to see the big picture. Some people like to go piece by piece. So then I'll also send them piece by piece. Okay, we're getting ready to start your Facebook launch. I'm gonna send them the landing page for, or folder, whatever it is, for number two, launch your Facebook business. Okay, launch your business on Facebook, all right? Um, and then, and I think it even has, let me look at it just to be sure. So I'm not lying to you. Okay. It goes step by step how to create a business. Okay. Um, it even has in there like you cannot use the name of Sensi in the title for your group. Later, this will be your VIP group to share all the Sensi things and have a hub to connect your customers. Okay. Um, so then I also explain that they get free and half off items from their launch. And then it's got a thing that says, let's get this party started. And I have little tips and tricks to help them with their party. Okay. Um, and I even give them like an example post. All right. So, and tell them to thank people. Don't forget your manners. And then I explain what happy mail is. Okay. That's what that looks like. And then I have a next one that says, well, my launch party is done. Now what do I do? And it works them through working to be a certified consultant, the ladder of success, a simplified business, following up, that they've got a party, okay? And it has YouTube links um, that I've, trainings I've done, why we consistently party, and then the who and the how of asking people to party, goes into club, okay? This has literally everything. And then it goes, are you ready for more? Then it's time to sponsor. And I go into detail about sponsoring with a YouTube video, um, a little picture to help them reach lead consultants, okay? Um, and then it also has on this board party starter conversations for them, just ideas, okay? 
um, a whole sponsoring section, join starter convo conversation ideas, and then check potential with the income disclosure. I need to update to that new income disclosure also. The reinstate one is pretty much the same thing, but it's more of a welcome back type of thing. Why relaunching is important. Time to relaunch, okay? And then it has some of the other same things on there, okay? So, again, we're going step by step. We're not trying to overwhelm people, but I do know some people like to see the big picture. I'm more of a step by step. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Then I can move on to the next, okay? Um, so, these boards, super, super, super helpful for my new consultants and my reinstates. But this way I can walk through with them step by step on how to do things. I also ask them if they want me to do their launch for them. Now hear me, they have to participate. <laughs> like I'm not just, I'm not getting paid for that, right? Like they're getting paid for that, that's for them, okay? So they get the commission from it. And so I explain that when I do their parties and I'm working on my new teamy launch board now, since I'm no longer using Visly. I'm in the middle of that as I'm taking my reinstate through her party. Um, I base it off of my parties, but I just explain that like, it's not like you're seeing my face, but it's because I'm teaching them how to do their party. Okay. Um, so yes, I'm basically showing them the ropes. I'm doing a party as if they were almost like my customer, but I'm explaining each step of what I'm doing to them in detail, okay? Um, and I also teach them how to say thank you for each order, what I do, because I can't see each order in detail, but they can. So that's their job. For my new teamies, I focus on let's get active ASAP, okay? That's first. While dropping the, hey, we do have shooting star within the first 15 days, little hints, okay? Then we go into... Shooting star, once we go into shooting star, that's when, or we're past the 15 days, say they didn't hit shooting star, um, that's when we're gonna start looking at getting certified, explaining the benefits, okay? And then I'm gonna start talking to them about sensational start, like little by little by little, because it's a lot, you guys. And for us, it's normal everyday things, right? But for them, it's like, whoa, what is happening? There's a lot of words to learn, there's a lot of things to do. So throughout their party, I also share a shooting star graphic, Okay, and it just helps them to keep their party guests to know where they're at and up to date on their progress. Literally says shooting star, then it has empty stars per 100, and I just filled them in on Canva for each 100. Okay, so people like a visual. All right, throughout their party, okay, I'm sharing that so everybody can see everything, and then I encourage them to message each person before their launch party ends, just to remind them that, hey, I have a party going on, I'm a consultant, you're in my launch party. This is where I get to see who's like really willing to get out of their comfort zone versus who's like Ooh, a little more hesitant, okay? This is, this is where you can really tell, because sometimes you have to be like, let me pull it out of you. You can do it. You want to message everybody because people are busy and they're not looking. They probably just said yes to your group, but they have no idea. They haven't even looked at it, right? They have no idea what's going on, okay? So I usually help them with that verbiage. I'm like, got to make it sound like you. Just reach out. It's not annoying unless you do it like three times, right? It's just informational and knowledge is power, okay? So I do that. Um, remember, you guys, we're a party company. Okay, so we want to help our new people and our reinstates understand it's not just about posting and praying, but they want to expand their network. They've got to party. Okay, so once we are wrapping up the launch party, I have them go through and message every single person who's purchased. Okay, this is where we get to teach them all about following up with people. All right, how's it going? Do you love your stuff? Do you want to get more for free? And I also have started posting in their party, like um, that this is a party company, how they expand and how they grow their business is by booking parties. So if you're willing to book a party with your brand new consultant, let them know, okay? So I started posting that also with like a picture of their face. <laughs> I probably should do like a graphic with a picture of their face, but I'm just like trying to bring them into their own party a little bit more. Um, so, and not everybody wants me to do a party for them and that's fine, but I always, always, always offer it because I want to help them the best way I can. And I feel like that's a really good way to do it is to show them the rope selling. Um, so once their launch party's done, turns into their VIP group. Okay. I usually add them to my VIP group, 
like the oh Lord VIP group so they can see what it's like. And sometimes I'll even tell them, take the post, make it sound like yours for like the first two weeks. Get in the rhythm of posting consistently. Then you can branch out and do more. But first, let's just get you in the habit of doing things, okay? Um, and from there, we can talk about what their goals are because and where they want their business to go. Usually, they're feeling pretty good, right, about their business by then. So once we do this, we have to remember not everybody wants big right away. Not everybody can see the big picture right away, okay? And that's okay because there's, there's room for every type of consultant in our business, okay? So we just have to know their goals so that we can be honoring of their time and our own. And I usually explain that to them too. Like this is a business for me, so I'm not going to ignore you. But like if you're only here literally to get paid back on your purchases, that's very different from the effort I'm going to put in to working with you and helping you towards a goal, which you probably don't really have because you're just trying to pay back on your own purchases versus someone who's like, Anya, I really need to make extra money and put food on my table. Okay, let's do it. You need some good money. Let's make it happen and work together. Do you see what I'm saying? So the effort there is a little different on how I work with them because um, time is money, right? Like we know that it's not a secret. Okay. So you are going to be encouraging your new people, shouting them out each step of the way. Remember that like even their first sale is a big deal and is really, really exciting for them, okay? Um, you're going to lead the way. You're going to teach them up. This is how you look at your news tab. For the first two weeks, I am literally at, and this is just a choice, my consultant's disposal, okay? I don't have team business hours for them. I don't have, like, whatever. I'm going to answer all your questions. Let's get this done. Let's get through it. Then I'm going to start pointing them elsewhere, okay? Like after those first two weeks, hey, make sure you check your workstation. I, that information is definitely on there, okay? Or have you looked to see if you could find that underneath the search bar on the team page, all right? It doesn't have to be nasty, but we're teaching them to now use their resource, like I, like I do with my seventh graders. Use your resources, okay? Because that's what's going to help them be successful later down the road. They can't come to you for every little thing in their business for forever. It's just not possible, especially as your group grows, okay? So you're teaching them, you're leading them, you're showing the way, okay? They should know about what incentive we're in, what we've got coming out, okay? If you want to, like, even we have something new, like, oh my gosh, did you see the news tab? Go look at it and tell me what you think. It's that simple. Then they're like, oh, that's really cool. That tells me exactly what's coming out in my Sensi business. Yes, it does. How exciting. Okay. Hey, did you see that success path? Those are new leaders. If you have not looked at success paths, look at them. You need to know what's in them for your teamies as you help them to grow. Okay. You also need to be communicating with them so you know who wants to grow. All right. Um, teach them how to post in their stories. Give them goals. Give them goals. This is how I post in my stories. I'm posting today how I use Sensi. Make sure that you post how you sense or try to post how you sense at least once this week in your story. Okay? Because people don't know what they don't know. And it doesn't always come naturally to everybody. Some people think, well, I posted in my on my Facebook page, that's enough. Okay, but like a handful of people saw that versus your stories where a ton of people see it. Okay? So Teach them. Teach them about the algorithm, how they need to be commenting on things and posting things so more things will show up on other people's feeds. They don't know, again, what they don't know, okay? Um, give them goals to meet. Goals to meet, okay? It doesn't need to be like sell 15 fragrance flowers. Let's give them goals that are going to expand their business, okay? You could say like 15 fragrance flowers, but... Giving them a flyer to put up to sell 15 fragrance flowers is very different from, hey, let's go ahead and let's each work to book two parties by the end of the week. That's very, very doable. You see what I'm saying? That's very, very doable. Okay. Um, so think about things like that. All right. Um, if there is a meeting, send your new teammates a reminder. Hey, I would love to see your face at the meeting. We have a meeting tonight. I'd love to see you there. Have you thought about making it to the meeting? Do you have time to make it to the meeting? I'd love to have you on there and hear your thoughts, okay? Give them things 
to show that you care and you want to see them succeed in this business, okay? You want to see them get out of their comfort zone. Never once have I been to a meeting where I was like, man, that was a really big waste of my time. I wish I never had done that. There's always something I can take away. Always, always something, okay? Yes, working together, that is huge, okay? Like, and I feel like I've found that to be the most successful is when I'm like, hey, I'm struggling, or even if I'm not, but I'm struggling, or I'm not at my goal yet, I need two more parties. Let's say that we do a booking blitz together, okay? It's literally that simple, and you can even send that to more than one teammate, and then check in on them individually, or put yourselves in a group chat. Okay, and hey, this is what I sent. Oh, do you guys think I should change my wording here? What do you guys think? Who do you think I should ask next? You have an idea for a post I could put up about getting parties? Okay, so working together is huge. There is, um, I don't know if y'all remember that show, Undercover Boss. Do you remember that show? Is this salon? I don't know. But like the big wig from the top would come down and do the nitty gritty jobs and like they had no idea of what was going on because they sit in this beautiful office rather than being on the floor working, right? We have to get in the trenches with our consultants. Show them how. That's what we, when we say lead the way, it's not just by having the best numbers or by running yourself into the freaking ground. Like that's not it. Lead the way. I'm booking parties today. Let's book parties together. I'm having joint conversations this week. That's my focus. Let's do it together. I challenge you to do it. And if they never get back to you, they never get back to you. It's on them to get back to you, right? With how it's going, okay? But you have it's like basketball. I'm passing the ball to you. You got to pass it back, and then I can pass it again, right? Okay, and then you can go for the layup if you want. But if I pass you the ball and you just hold it, I don't have the ball anymore. What am I supposed to do? I can only help you so far, right? Okay, so we have to get get on the court. Got to get on the court with our people. Oh, that was really good. I'm going to stick that in my back pocket. I like that. Get on the court with our people. Okay, so teach them how to do these things, okay? Um, if there's something that you see posted on the team page that you think would help your new consultant or any of your teammates, tag them. Tag them. They can be annoyed, then the team page is optional. Like, they don't have to do that if they don't want to, okay? But tag them in it because they don't see everything. And if I post something or Whitney posts something, okay, great. I see your face all the time. But when my leader is there and tags me and my leader thinks it's important, I'm going to pay a little bit more attention, right? Okay? So, because Whitney and I, we're shooting all the things out, trying to help as much as we can, wherever we can, right? But we don't know exactly what's going to help your people the way you know what's going to help them, okay? Remember, your people joined you for a reason. Hmm? Hmm? Okay? Yeah? All right. Okay. So, remember that. And even your downline, too. Don't just focus on your front line. You, you want a big, wide front line. That sustainability also comes lower, too, okay? So, we're like doing all the things, okay? We're not just focused here, all right? So remember that with your downline too. Shout them out. Get excited. Like, how exciting is that? That my leader's leader tagged me in something. My leader's leader saw my numbers and thinks that I'm amazing, okay? That's important. Those things are important, all right? So reach out to your people. It does not have to be once a week. It doesn't have to be every day. Oh my gosh, okay? But reach out to them. See if they have questions. Talk to them. Get to know them, okay? Hey, how are you feeling about your business right now? I sent three messages like that this morning. How are you feeling about your business? How are you feeling about your leadership? Do your people even know you're still a leader? Do they even think you're still a sensei? Okay, red flags. See red flags everywhere. I see red flags. Okay, so that's important to do, all right? And I'm like, you know, I haven't talked to you in a little bit. How's it going? There's nothing wrong with that, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. We're busy. You're a person. I'm a person. There's a lot going on. We're at the end of our school year. Y'all, it's rough around here. But I'm still doing my best to do those little reach outs, even if it's only three people today and three people tomorrow or one person today and nobody next week. Still putting the work in, showing that you care and that you love your people. OK, so we're focused on the new. We're doing all things. We're going to lead them up right, okay, so that they can start their businesses with a strong foundation. Walk with them. We're not dragging anybody, but we can walk with them, okay, 
as they are ready to do so. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be focusing on the new, new, okay? We've got to really stop. I was talking to someone else with this. Stop trying to revive a dead team. I said it. Stop. Why are you trying to revive a dead team? Go find some new people. Go find some people who are going to be, have the fire lit. Because guess what? When that fire's lit, sometimes that is going to be contagious to other people. When they're bringing all the heat and they're like, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa. They're seeing it with shiny, new, bright eyes, right? Versus someone who's been around. They don't care. They're like, whatever. And you're like, come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Well, they don't believe in themselves. And you can only believe so much for someone, okay? You got to go find new. And when that person is ready to be awake again and come back, they will. And then you can love on them and be there and do all the things with them. But stop trying to shove your business down people's throats. Stop trying to revive dead teammates. Okay? We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Hey, do you have goals? Hey, do you want to work towards something? Hey, do you have plans? Okay? They say yes, they're ready. That's who you're focused on and the new. You can still check in on everybody else. But you're focused on the ones who want to work and the new. New, 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 people who are reviving fresh starts, all the things. I think River said it on the Wildflower Warrior page. I'm thinking of just like a complete revamp. And I'm like, yes, here for it. Revamp that business, wake it up, focus on the new, and let's do some big things. Okay? Remember, what you do now is going to be a huge blessing of a result in three months. We are not in a sprint. We are in a marathon. Okay? Strong foundations for our businesses. All right? All right, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you have the best Tuesday. I really, really do. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye, guys.